200 pounds, is that our final guess? That is, yes. Okay, it costs zero pounds. What? Hey guys, welcome back to the Girl Gone London channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin. I'm an American who's lived in the UK for almost 10 years, except now I'm in America and this is my best friend, Emily. In this video, you guys wanted me to get my friends and family's reactions to certain like facts about the UK or things about the UK that are different from the US. So Emily has been to the UK a few times to visit me um, and is pretty well up on things. I've come up with some questions that I'm going to ask and she is going to react to different things about the UK and we're just going to have a discussion about some of the differences. So, so um, okay, the first question, do you know how many different nations make up the UK? Now I get in trouble for this because I'm not even sure if you call them nations or country. I mean, it's countries. Like how many different countries make up the UK? Oh gosh. I... <laughs> you I'm can gonna, do it. I'm gonna expose myself. Okay. I... Okay, what's like the first country that you've been to? England. Okay. Okay. What's the next one? Scotland. Okay. Okay. What's the other one that's on the same landmass that we didn't go to? Ireland? Wales? Wales? Wales. And the fourth one is Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. Oh wow, oh. my geography skills are coming out. There you go. Watch this out. Is... <laughs> but if any of you British people tried to name the American states, I bet you couldn't. Ooh. Um, okay, how much do you think it costs for an ambulance ride in the UK? Oh wow. In pounds. In pounds, okay. Mm. Part of me wants to say like 200 pounds. I don't know. Okay, 200 pounds is that our final guess? That is, yes. Okay, it costs zero pounds. What? Yeah, because at the NHS, I you don't have to pay for an ambulance, right? I mean, here we just choose to use your own cars. <laughs> like you could have your arm chopped off. We're like, no, we got it. I'll take the Honda. <laughs> like yeah, because an ambulance ride costs so much here. Yeah, I think I couldn't even give you a ballpark because it's. So... I think it's like in the thousands. Yeah. So yeah, just don't... free. I mean, you pay for it, obviously, at some point. Right, but... But you don't pay, like, per ambulance ride. Right. Zero pounds. Wow. There you go. There's, that's actually shocked. That's... We used to have lots of American students when I used to have a different job who would be, like, the same thing. They're like, yeah. I'm not going to the hospital. And we're like, why? And they're like, because I don't... I can't afford it. And yeah. they're like, it's free. It's free. That's the point of the NHS. Yeah. Next question. How much do you think income tax like the first income tax percentage is so there's a certain percentage it's like zero percent if you make like under eleven thousand pounds mm -hmm. but like the first once you start earning what percentage of is income tax in, in percent numbers oh god um Just take a guess. Maybe five percent? I don't know. Okay, the guess is five percent. Yes. It's twenty percent. Okay, so way <laughs> off. Twenty percent wow. is the first like income tax bracket. Dang. But that stuff goes towards things like the NHS right, and like, stuff. What is income tax here? We're in Florida. Do you even know? Ooh. Florida doesn't have income tax, does it? I don't think so. California does, I think. So do you pay what do you pay any like what do you pay in like Just sales what type? tax? Yeah. Like I think Seven point five percent. Seven percent sales tax. I think something around that. But then, do you keep all of the money that your bot, like your employee, your your employer, gives you? No, because some of it comes out in like social security. Social security and yeah. stuff. Okay. Yeah, but I don't think Florida has an income tax. Right. I don't think so. Okay. So Florida zero, UK twenty percent. Twenty. As the first. Here I was thinking five. Starting point. <laughs> okay. Next question. How many sick days? do you think you get in the UK? Oh gosh. And this is different. How many like, sick days do you get? Do you know? Is it um, like enough? Well, ours is kind of weird because we kind of combine it with our holiday time. Okay. So we get technically three weeks of PTO that we could use when we're sick or if we're going to the UK. So, okay. Um, but I'm thinking you guys would probably get maybe like two weeks of sick time. Okay, it's basically unlimited because what? if you're sick, then they're not gonna make you. Yeah. That 
shocks me. So that would never happen. <laughs> the next question is going to be about paid time off or what mm-hmm. they would call annual leave. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, if you are ill, what they call being sick, because being sick, do you know what being sick means in the UK? What? It means throwing up. Oh. So I'm all like, I'm always like, oh, I, I've. I've been sick, and I yeah. think they mean a lot of people will use that to be like, "Oh, I've thrown up." Oh. Americans don't say we, we say like "sick" to mean the same thing as "ill," which is what British people say. Um, but yeah, like it doesn't take away from your vacation time if you're sick. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. That's I know. very different from how we. Don't operate. you want to move to the UK? I mean, you could get the flu, and you <laughs> still have to be cranking out those emails. Yeah. So, okay, the next question is how many vacation days do you think we get in the UK? Mm. Like in days and it's mandated by the government. Um, maybe like 20 days a year? Good guess, closer. Mm -hmm. So it's 28 days. That can include bank holidays, like there's like eight of them or something. Mm -hmm. So they can tell you that you have to like take Christmas off and that mm-hmm. counts towards the 28. Mm-hmm. So it basically for most people works out to four weeks ish, four to five weeks. Wow. That's as minimum. Yeah. Minimum. That's crazy. That yeah. we're lucky if we get maybe a week here. Yeah, exactly. Like, you saying three weeks. I was yeah. like, wow. And that's sick. And that's also with sick. So, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next question. How many days or weeks do you think a pregnant woman could get of maternity leave in the UK? Um, maybe, I'm just gonna say maybe four weeks. Higher. Okay. Really? Okay. Um, six weeks? Higher. What? Times it by like 10. 52 weeks, 50, a whole year. A whole year? A whole year. It's not all paid. It's like some of it's paid and some of it, it depends on if you've been employed somewhere. Mm-hmm. Like there's different situations, but it's a full year. What? A full year. What? How many maternity days are mandated in the US? Zero days. Yeah. I think it's one of the only countries in the world that doesn't have like mandated time. Like your employer gets to decide. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. A full year. People, what do you think about that? I think that is shocking. That is like. <laughs> we're fending for ourselves like good luck trying to take the baby to work yeah <laughs> have them become the new intern <laughs> it's, just, it's crazy yeah that's crazy to me wow. okay final two mm-hmm. jaywalking okay Le- <laughs> legal do you do it legal or illegal in the uk to answer your first question i do but not <laughs> i'm outing myself um in the UK, I feel like it is legal there, though. It is. Yeah. You won't get in trouble for jaywalking. I think, and they think yeah. it's weird that Americans really? can't cross the street where they want. I think because we, we were in London doing something and everyone just started going. Like, you know, yep. there's no time to waste. They you got to hustle. So, yeah. but in America, it's very much like you're looked at like, ooh, yeah. look at that crazy person. Don't just, cross unless. Don't do anything. Like You're out of crossing yeah. and it's your turn to mm-hmm. go. That's Which crazy. is weird. Yeah. But I feel like the UK is more of a pedestrian place anyway, yeah. so maybe that makes sense. Whereas here, if you if you're yeah. in the suburbs like where we live in Florida, where we grew up, mm-hmm. like you're not walking anywhere. That's no. weird. That's very strange. So strange. Yeah. Okay, final question. This mm-hmm. is open ended. Okay. Do you have any idea what an allotment is? Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> um allotment. Something to do with time um, in your job, maybe? Like I feel like that's a good guess, but that has nothing to do with it. Really? So an allotment is basically when they, they... Okay, so you know how in the UK garden means yard? Yes. So an allotment is I feel like what we would call a garden, but they are not in their house. So think of like a village. Okay. They, ha- they will have a piece of land that's divided up into like rectangles. Yeah. And each one is basically an allotment or, or it's basically a garden mm-hmm. that you can, I guess you rent it. It's, I don't, or you can own it, but it's not in your backyard, but it's a garden. Like, so, so it's like, if you have an allotment, mm-hmm. you go to this place like in the village or wherever you live to like tend to your vegetables, but it's not in your oh. house. It's not near your house. I like that. So, oh. It's like a little garden.
yard and away from your home. Yeah, that's basically. nice. That's kind of charming. We yeah. don't, I don't know if we would. We I don't. We like farm, but not. Yeah, we don't have allotment. I mean, maybe they do in cities, but I've never actually seen one. Right. We didn't grow up in the city. No. We, but even <laughs> in the suburbs of the UK, they have allotments. I feel like it's because there's no space for actual gardening That's in many true. people's houses. Whereas here, you would just have it in your backyard. Yeah. But yeah, an allotment is like a garden away from your home. The more you know. The more you know. No. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Some of you were interested in an American's reactions to certain things, which I feel like we got some good ones, <laughs> especially when it comes to vacation time mm -hmm. and ambulance costs and all of that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.